Uh, will I be shopping from the doula hair again? Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Well, welcome back to my channel if you're returning. But I uploaded a four month Nadula hair update, but I deleted the video because I did not like the way my makeup looked. So I'm refilming this video and I also forgot to talk about some things. So I just deleted the video altogether. I don't have the wig in my hair right now, obviously, but it's right here. Um, so first of all, let me talk about what I ordered. I ordered transparent lace, 13 by 4 parting space, 180 density, and then it was 18 inches. And I got it for sale, so it was $122.30. So that's all the details on my wig. Um, you can also go check out the video where I unbox the wig and then I install the wig. That'll be up in the cards and in the description box. So I wrote down some pros and cons. I have eight pros which is good and then I have two cons well no I got three cons y'all got three cons and then I got two other things I want to say about the wig so guess I can get the cons out of the way so the first thing that I don't like about this wig is the wig construction and when I say that I'm talking about the parting space y'all now ignore you know the glue on here because I haven't washed the wig yet from the last time I installed the wig but I really hate the parting space like if I could say anything about this wig that would not make me want to buy it again it's the parting space because as soon as you part it the first track is right there like I wish I could show y'all I'll probably show y'all some pictures but for the most part the parting space on this wig is so short like this is not enough parting space and this is 13 by 4 so yeah it do look a little bit deeper right in here but it's still the same as on the sides and so I went back to see like dang was I being cheap like did I just get the cheapest option for party space but all of my 13 by 4 and I know for a fact that a lot of other wigs that I have that have 13 by 4 party space are a lot deeper than that so Ooh, do y'all hear that dog barking? The worst thing about the wig, that's my least favorite part about the wig, is the parting space. And then the second thing is the wig cannot hold a curl. So I haven't been like all over the place because we've been in COVID-19 and I ordered this wig in March. So we literally been in quarantine since March. So I haven't gone anywhere with the wig, but the other day... Probably like a week or two ago I curled the hair real nice and I wanted to go outside and take some pictures and as soon as I stepped outside y'all them curls dropped that's not a horrible thing because I know a lot of hair can't hold curls but I do want to say that because it is a lot of people who do not like straight hair and who only curl their hair with a wand curler a curling iron or a flat iron like some people only like curls and I'm one of them people I don't like straight hair like that I do but not really so yeah and then the last con I want to talk about ew. <laughs> the last con I want to talk about is it seems to be a difference between Nadula hair on AliExpress and then the actual Nadula website I don't know what the difference is oh I thought someone was on my wall girl I'm tripping okay so yeah, it seemed to be a difference between the Nadula website and the AliExpress store. Like, people was telling me, like, if you order from Nadula, don't order it from AliExpress because the hair quality is not the same as if you was to order it from their official website. And I don't like that because I feel like, as a company, if you have your hair on Amazon, AliExpress, Walmart, it don't matter. Like, all the quality should be the same. I don't know if that's true, but I do know that I know somebody who actually ordered from the Nadula official website and she got the same wig as me and her wig do look different. Even the parting space looks a little different. But, you know, I don't know for sure if it's different, but it looked different. So now we can get into the pros of this wig. So if you watched my unboxing video, I was, you know, combing through the wig a little bit like, dang, this wig is soft, this wig is this. And that's one thing I can say that this wig got a lot of body. Y'all probably can't see now because the curls fell. Like I said, this is like when I tried to curl my hair the other day and I went outside and they fell. But long story short, this wig got body. Like it's so voluminous, y'all. Like, oh my God. I feel like the quality 
of the hair is really nice. I just don't like the way the wig was constructed. Like, I'm going to keep saying that. I do not like the way the wig was made. But the hair, I like it. Like, I really do like the hair. So, that goes to the second pro. The second pro I said was it's good quality hair, y'all. Like, I know wigs are supposed to shed, but this wig don't shed. Like, I don't know why it don't shed. I feel like shedding is actually normal. People be like, oh, do the wig shed a lot or this and that. I feel like hair is supposed to shed. Not a lot, obviously, but it's supposed to shed. This wig, it do not shed. Even when I wash it, it don't shed. So, I don't know. It's good quality hair, I will say that. And I used to be so caught up on like, oh my God, most of these companies get their hair from the same people. Some people just sell it for more and some people don't. But I can honestly say like, whoever they got their hair from, hold on, let me turn my room light up. I can honestly say like, whoever they got their hair from, like, it's, it's grade A. Like, it's better quality than a lot of the other hair companies. So, the next thing I want to talk about is the price. So, I put that as a pro because although I got the wig on sale for like $120, um, even without the sale, I think the wig would have been, actually, I'm already on the site. I'm on, I ordered it from AliExpress, by the way. I didn't order it from the official site. So, if I put in everything that I ordered as far as inches, part in space, all that, without the sale, it would be $140. And I feel like that's a good price for a body wave wig. I feel like if you get in a body wave wig that's... 20 inches and lower so 20 18 16 it shouldn't be over 150 like 150 is the most I'll pay for a body weight wig that's not over 20 inches and I just feel like for Nadula to be one of the bigger quality not the bigger qualities I feel like for Nadula to be one of the bigger companies they have really affordable prices I was looking at other companies I ain't gonna name them because I mean this video is not about them can y'all see my bun this little thing is blocking my bun I ain't gonna talk about the other companies, but a lot of them are like so, I won't say expensive, but like if you compare the prices, like I got this for 120, but let's just say I got it for 140 at the regular price. A lot of the other companies are 18 inch, 180 density. They're gonna be charging like 180, 170, and I feel like that's not a good price for a body weight wig. Like a body weight wig is like an everyday type of wig. You shouldn't be paying over 150, cause yeah, it is an investment. It is an investment. And they do last for years, but not for 180. And that goes into what I want to say next, which is another pro is it could be an everyday wig. Now, this personally isn't my everyday wig because I don't know. I already have one set in stone. If you want to know what that is, it's up in the cards. I love that wig so much. This isn't my everyday wig, but. I feel like you throw this on and you just put on the hat and go to the store like it's nothing like this hair don't tangle up or nothing you can throw it over there it's not gonna tangle up and like you shouldn't be doing that with your wigs you need to be taking care of your wigs anyway but i'm just saying like this is an everyday wig it's not gonna fail you the only thing is if you want to wear curls every day that might affect you but if you just want to wear it wavy throw on a hat throw on a scarf it don't matter this can be an everyday wig, and I promise y'all I'm not hyping this wig up, because if it wasn't all that, I wouldn't be saying that it was all that. The next pro I have is fast shipping and fast delivery. I think I ordered, I know I ordered it March 27th, I know because it's my sister's birthday. Um, that's when the sale started, March 27th, 2020, and I think I got the wig the next week. I think it shipped like maybe April 1st, April 2nd. And I got it April 3rd. I commented, I responded somebody to somebody comment and somebody commented and asked me and I responded and I'll put the response right here. I forgot the exact dates, but the shipping and the delivery was super fast. I think that's like every AliExpress hair store. They just really get their stuff out really fast. Now I don't know about whether or not that's the same for the nadula.com site, but for AliExpress they shipped my stuff really fast and it delivered really fast i think it came with dhl y'all gotta go look at my unboxing video if you want to know all that type of information so the last pro that i i have about this wig y'all it's true to length so like i said i got an 18 inch and a lot of these companies they be giving you 16 inch when you pay for 18 inch i feel like this wig 
I obviously can't put it on, but I feel like it's true to length. This is actually 18 inches. Hold up. When I put the hair in the frame with me, y'all see how my face turned around? And then when I put it down, it get darker. What is that? I feel like this wig is true to length. A lot of these companies be lying to y'all that he sent me y'all 18 inches when y'all ordered 20. This is actually 18 inches. I actually measured it, y'all. Um, Hold up. I just forgot. Another thing I don't like about this wig is the fact that it's layered. If you want to know more about that, you can go watch my unboxing video. But for the most part, when I unboxed it, I saw the fact that the front of the wig was shorter than this part of the wig. And that's fine because a lot of companies, like a lot of people, they layer their wigs anyway. But I don't want Nadula to layer my wig for me. I feel like it should have all came as 18 inches, as you can see. The front stop right there and it's pretty when I curl it because you know it be falling a certain way but I like to do that myself Nadula do not layer my wig for me no more please okay so I set the pros and the cons and now I have two final things I want to say um overall I do like the hair will I be I don't know will I be shining from Nadula hair again Duh. <laughs> I like the hair quality. Um, I want to try different wigs from them. I want to try a bob wig and maybe like a deep curly wig. Hopefully with better parting space. Um, but overall, yes, I do like the hair. Don't like the parting space, but I like the hair. I will be shopping from the doula again because, I mean, why not? They better than a lot of other companies. And like I said, for them to be one of the bigger names, their prices are affordable. This video is not sponsored by the way y'all. So I'm not just telling y'all to go get this wig. If y'all don't want to get it, don't get it. I don't get any type of commission if y'all click the link to the wig. I'm just, you know, a regular YouTuber. I'm not an influencer yet. Um, That's really it y'all. I tried to film this video. My makeup was trash the first time. And then I tried to film it like two days ago. And the lace just wasn't looking good to me. So this is my final and last time filming this video. If it don't look right when I edit it, I'm just not going to post it. It's just not meant to be. Um, so yeah. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. And I want to try some new wigs like from different companies. Bye y'all. I'm just talking at this point. This video was not supposed to be over 10 minutes. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And go watch that unboxing video and then go watch the video of me installing it. I dropped a couple, you know, gems in those videos. So, bye y'all.